Hello all, this video demonstrates the technique of doing a brachiocephalic fistula. We routinely perform vein and arterial mapping of the entire limb before commencing the procedure. Patient is placed in supine, left arm is placed in an abducted position 90 degree from the body. This is the operating room setup we prefer. The surgeon and assistant on either side of the arm. Here is the cephalic vein in the upper arm and uh, this is the cubital vein and uh, this is the brachial artery. Then infiltrate with the 2% lignocaine. Make incision with number 15 surgical blade just below the cubital crease. Then incision is deepened. Start with the dissection of vein. Cephalic vein is looped with a vessel loop. Then vein mobilized proximally. Once we got the adequate length, ligate the distal end and divide.
look for the patency of the vein by injecting the heparinized saline. After the dissection of vein, we started dissecting the artery. Brachial artery is running below the basipital aponeurosis, so cut the basipital aponeurosis. Here you can see the brachial artery. Separate it from the vena committance. Then the artery looped with a vessel loop and this will help for the mobilization of the artery distally and proximally. Usually uh, there are one or two branches come across during the dissection. You can either coagulate or ligate. Then the artery clamped proximally and distally. A small arteriotomy is made with a number 11 blade. The arteriotomy is then extended, both forward and backward cutting. Then vein is prepared for the anastomosis. Here we are using a 7-0 polypropylene for the anastomosis. We take the first stitch from the artery just near the heel from inside to outside then from the vein from outside to inside. There are many ways of performing a parachute anastomosis. 
the technique we are doing is the four or five heel stitches then continuous with the same needle for the further anastomosis now the vein is ready for to be parachuted down with the aid of the assistant gently lower the vein down once we placed the vein we prefer to take one or two bites from the near side then we move on to the far side of the anastomosis and continue in a backhand fashion Here I am using a loop with forex magnification and what you are watching is recorded with an external camera. Once we reach the foot end of the anastomosis, we should be more careful not to include the posterior wall of the artery.
once you finished the anastomosis look for any major leak from the anastomotic site Tie the knot carefully and cut it. skin is closed with 30 nylon Thank you so much for watching. Your comments are welcome.